Diddy's World! Hi guys, welcome to Diddy's World! And today I'm going to show you more about these flying machines. Now, I did tell you it would be cool and fun to show you how you could create contraptions with these. So you want a redstone lamp, observer, a sticky piston, a a slime block, a any type of pressure plate, a immovable object, and a block of your choice. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do that. So you just want to copy everything I'm doing. So we got a red zone lamp, a furnace there, and then we'll just have one platform over here. This is platform A. Platform A right here. So do all of this. All right, this is platform A. Uh, so what you wanna do is here, you want to build your slime block machine and yes if you do see that that observer just went off right when I placed it I am not in the newest version of Minecraft <laughs> so that happens it's annoying but anyway I have now created it so if we were to make this flying machine fly this way then it would stop right there and be flush. Now we just need to build the same thing but opposite. So you see right where that piston is we want to place down a furnace and right where a observer is we want to place a redstone lamp right there so then you can see that those would match up perfectly. You want to put a pressure plates on top of the redstone lamps. Oh, and also we're doing like a, a thing where you can fly from destination B to destination A. So as you see that, look straight and don't stop walking. If you're better than me, then that would work. But clearly, I am not better than myself. Because I am myself. Yeah, you have to make sure you're looking directly straight. And you have to make sure you're not sprinting as well. Anyway, now we can tell you about how to create a bridge. So just create the same design they showed you how to create earlier. So do do. So now we have the flying machine again. Oh, and also try to place obsidian in these places so that flying machine is not going anywhere uh, while we're still building. So what you want to do is you want to go two out and then you want to build some stuff here. Now I'm going to extend this out a bit. So we're going to create a little bridge right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and create something that will work. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Which means if we get rid of these blocks, that means that it will all fly and there. So now what that means is that this will be the next 
platform. And if you're wondering where the first platform, I'll show you where that first platform is going to be in a second. All right, there we go. So what you want to do is you want to make this go all the way back in there and then cover up all of the slime blocks with obsidian. Now just create, just cover all of the stuff. So everything that is like a here and yeah. Then you can, so anything, so like if it moves, it won't uh, stick to another block uh, and stuff like that. And yes, if you do want to make this look better, you can do that. You can grab the light blue uh, glazed terracotta. I mean, you can just use any glazed terracotta. To test it, we're going to flip that. And then we're going to look over here and bam, it's built a bridge for us. Now you may see that this has happened. So we can just cover that up. There we go. And now we have a bridge to get to section A. And then to shove this back, we can just light that. And it's gone. You can uh, put button request systems and stuff. So you just wanna place a block of iron and then a piston facing into that observer. So this is point A. We have a uh, stage piston facing straight into there. And now what we want to do is press set and then wait for it. And there's our bridge. You might say, well, we've got that, but I need more buttons. Well, I've got your back. You might have to have something to shove it back to section A once you're on section B. So just copy everything that I'm doing and you'll be able to do it. So now press. Now it will get shoved away. And now we can't find it. Wah, I used my Elytra. All right, landed it. Now you might say, well, once you've closed it, how are you supposed to get back? Well, again, I've got your back a second time. Booyah. You just want to, you just want to sort of create a line that you can follow that leads into that piston. So that will just go into there. Okay then. So what you want to do is replace a button with a lever and then flick it. And then you can know uh, exactly when you have to put a repeater. Right, so now it's got to the last place. So replace it back with the button. Place that piece of redstone there. That means now we can uh, send it to us. And now you might be saying now, well, if I hit this button again, well, it's not going to retract back. Well, I got your, your back a third time. <laughs> Just do the same thing. Wire this button up to to a circuit that goes in to the other that goes in to the other piston. You might 
have to do a bit of fiddling around with stuff. This is going to go past there and into there. And this circuit goes into this piston. We're going to have a little hump over that. So then that means that if we just add this extra bit, poof, there we go. Then we just want to wire up all of the redstone. So that's also going to power it. And yes, we just need to do all of this redstone wiring. And once again, uh, and once again, we will replace this with a lever and flick it. And then, doop do 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 Put the redstone, and then now, beep. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, click the bell, and now, boing.